Hi guys, in this video, we're going to be painting this cute little elephant. So make sure you have your canvas out and ready. I have my plate with a little bit of my colors put on there. So I have them all out and ready to mix. Um, you don't necessarily need to put all the paint out, just a little to get you started. Um, you need something to keep water in. So you can wash your brushes. I have an assortment of sizes here. Um, you may even want like a bigger one for this one. And paper towel for drying off your brushes and to get any spills. So I'm gonna get started with the background and I'm just gonna use a nice bright yellow. And I'm gonna add a little bit of white to it. So I'm gonna scoop up some white, stir it over in with quite a bit of yellow so it's still nice and bright. And I'm just gonna fill in my whole background. So you can paint right over this little flower and you can go right over the trunk here. The gray, when we paint the trunk, will cover this yellow very easily. And since this color is so light, we don't really have to worry about being perfect on our edges, especially in that tiny little area there. So you can be a little sloppy on your edges in this one. And there's this little bit right here on this edge. Make sure you get that as well. And this little space by the mouth. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and paint my elephant. And I'm gonna make a nice gray color. Um, this time I am gonna take my Sharpie an outline because that gray is gonna be dark and that pencil line may not show through. So this way, to ensure that I can see my line through my paint, I'm just putting a little black line on top. Um, you are going to want to use a black Sharpie. It's a permanent marker. Um, I don't, I can't guarantee any other brands or colors will work as well as this. Um, I know non-permanent ones will bleed, the color will bleed into your painting. With this particular painting though, since it is going to be a dark gray, the bleeding may not really be much of an issue because it will blend away through the gray. Um, I'm gonna get my color mixed up. I'm gonna take quite a bit of black and stir it in with quite a bit of white. So I have this nice gray medium to dark in color and it will dry darker on the canvas I'm gonna make it a little bit a little bit darker I'm just gonna come in I'm gonna use let's see I'm gonna use my smaller brush down here and then up in the big parts I can change brushes and it'll go a lot quicker if I use a big brush. And I'll have less streaks. They want my paint. Ooh, because little brushes leave lots of brush marks. Let's be careful around this little loop-de-loo where his trunk is wrapped around the stem of the flower. Kind of a teeny weensy little area.
And I have this tiny little mouth spot. And I think I can go ahead and get my bigger brush and fill in the rest. Just gonna get the yellow cleaned out of it. So my big brush, my gray paint. I'm just gonna go right over. And so long as you keep your paint Thin. I know it's kind of hard to see that Sharpie line, but once it dries and so long as it's spread out nice and thin, you should be able to see it. If not, it's not a hard shape to make. It's just a big whoop. It's like a big letter U that's skinny on top. Same with the eye. It's just kind of the bottom part of a circle is the shape. I need to flip because I can't really get down in that area with my easel in the way. And I'm just gonna come back in here, do another quick coat, because that little brush left a lot of little streaks. So I'm just gonna clean this up a little. And I'm gonna blow it dry. Um, I can't really see my line, but that's okay. That's an easy enough line to just make on your own. I'm gonna take my blow dryer. skinny brush and I'm gonna put that black line in where the ear goes somewhere in here let's see let's get a mark let's like right up in here we'll start a little bit down from the top of the head and I'm gonna swing it around So about like that. So it's just a big swoop. Just gonna clean it up a little. 
the rain on a paint on my brush coming down here. And then the eye. Maybe right about here. And I'm gonna add five little eyelashes, maybe. One, two, three, four, five. Cute. So before I do the flower, I'm going to work on the background a little. I'm just gonna add some polka dots. And I'm gonna use a very, very pale yellow. I'm gonna put big old polka dots all over the background. So I'll just take a scoop of my yellow that I mixed earlier for the background and stir it in with more white. So lots of lots of white, it's very, very pale yellow. And I'm just gonna go around. I'm gonna put a polka dot here, this off the edge. I'm gonna put a great big one here. the elephant there. Put one here. Okay, I can put one maybe in here. You could do these wherever and however many you want. Mine are great big. Yours can be much smaller. I'm going to flip this so I can reach it. Maybe a big one here. And one that's coming behind here. Perfect. So next I'm just going to work on my flower. And I'm going to start with, I'm going to use this smaller brush. And I'm going to start with... Um, let's see, I'm going to use do all kinds of fun color petals. So let's start with some nice bright pink ones, white with a lot of red, nice bright pink. And I'm just going to do tall, long, skinny petals. Yours can be wider and shorter. Maybe I went a little too tall because by the time I come around, might not fit that well, but I can adjust. So let's leave a little space for another one. Leave a space for two. Let's stick one over here. I'll switch up colors. Let's do purple. 
So I'm just gonna add a little bit of blue to my pink. Got a nice purple. There's this one in between there, purple. One down here, purple. And let's do one over here. If you want to draw these on first in pencil, go ahead. That might be a little easier for you. Or it might even be easier for you to do them side by side instead of leaving space and you can just switch colors as you go around whatever is easiest for you how about some nice blue petals so i'm gonna take a little bit of white with quite a bit of blue here i still want it nice and dark so that looks good to me Nice, rich blue. It's still a little lighter, but if we add the white, it shows up better on the canvas. So I have a gap here I can fit one in. Maybe I fit one here. a little bit thicker a little bigger and I feel like I might have to put two more there but I can get one there one there two here so let's do one more color how about, how about green a little green so I'm just gonna add a nice blob of yellow into my blue green it up a little and a little scoop of white and get this nice blue or sorry green put a green one here and squeeze one in here roll up a little here overlap on that blue one just a smidge then I think I'll use I'll put a purple one there I got a little bit of room left I got my purple already left over from earlier and I'll just squeeze in one more petal. Perfect. Now you can go back through and touch them up, give them another coat if you want. My purple could use maybe a little touching up. I like it. So the center of the flower and the stem, I'm just gonna paint black. So I've got my little my little square brush. And I can overlap right onto the edge of those petals so that my edge is nice and smooth. And then for the stem, I'm gonna go on top of the curl in the trunk here. And then I'll lift my brush, leave the trunk in front here, and then continue my stem line below. That way it looks like it's wrapped up in his trunk. So my stem's coming here. 
I went across the trunk there. And I do have to flip my canvas just because I can't get in there very well. I'm going to not go on the gray. And I'm just going to do the bottom of the stem right up to the trunk. And that way the stem is within that little curl. So lastly, we just have a little bit of white to do. Just wanna give them some toenails and maybe a little white highlight. So I'm gonna just paint in, let's see, one, two, it's like the letter M. One, one. It's got two humps. And just fill that in. And then a little swoop here. And let's go down the side of the ear a little. The back of the leg. And then I'm gonna go across the head. Just a quick swoop. And in the flower, I'm going to do quick little lines just in the center, coming out of the middle of the flower on each of the petals. And then a quick little white swoop, little highlight on the center of the flower. And we're done. So pick a color to write your name. Um, I like to sign down here. I'll probably just do kind of an orangey color. So a little yellow into my pink. Maybe a little more yellow. Maybe a little white. I want it to show up but not like stand out. So I kind of choose a shade of yellow that is slightly different than what's there. So I can see it, but my eye isn't drawn to it. And I'm done. So when you guys finish up, take pictures. I love seeing your finished work. I have a post pinned right at the top of my Facebook page, willy nilly. You can just post there and I'll check them out. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.